so today we are going to see how to create a realistic ocean with the addition of foam using Judas Max, Vira and Phoenix FD materials. You can of course find this complete project like all the other projects on my Patreon with the 3D scene and the final compositing. Okay, let's start now. Okay, so now we are in 3ds Max and the first thing I'm going to do is just to change the unit setup. So here, customize, unit setup, and we see we are in meter, it's perfect, by meter, great. I will now create a plane to simulate the sea, up the size, 5000 by 5000, up the subdivision, 100, okay, I think it's great like this. I can now just adjust the camera and create a Vera camera like this. Perfect. Now what I want to do is to create the lighting. So I will use a very sun, change view, and I will create my sun. Okay. Yes. Move the sun. And I will now launch render to see what it looks. I can go to the sun option and maybe decrease the intensity to 0.5. If you don't like the black line you see here, you can just change the horizon offset. Maybe a value of 1 will be good. 2. 2 is perfect. Okay, so I think it's good for this. So now what I want to do is to create my ocean texture. So I will go in the material editor, create a material V-ray, V-ray material. Apply this material to the very plane. You can see here. For the diffuse, I will go to black. Reflect to 100 with white. And same for the refract. Great. Okay, so now we have a cool water material, but we don't have displacement. We don't have the ocean look. So I recreate the displacement. So I select my plane. And I will add a V-Ray displacement mode. I changed nothing here, but for the edge length, I will up the value to 24 because I want to calculate faster. We will decrease the value later for the render, but 24 is great for the moment. I will now create a maps, Phoenix FD, and here Phoenix FD ocean texture. I create it, and I will link the ocean texture to the map slot. Yes, and here you can already see your ocean texture, it's great. I will maybe move a bit the camera, like this, okay, it's great. So here in the Phoenix you have a lot of options, you can control the wind speed, it will control the velocity of the wave but also the look of your sea, if I up a bit you can see that the look is different. The value of 4 will be good, but as you can see it changes the look, but it also changes the speed. So if you want to decrease the speed, you can change it in the rate of change. So if I go to frame 20, you can see the look here. And if I decrease the rate of change to value of 0.5, you can see that the velocity is divided by 2. Okay, so if you change the value here in the control by wind speed, don't forget to change your rate of change or you will have problem with the velocity of your wave. Okay, okay, so we have here a lot of parameters. You can control the level of detail. 20 to have a lot of detail. 2 to have very calm water. 10 is a good value, I think. You can control the wave weight. Maybe try 1.5, it's great, 1.7, yeah, I think it's good like this, vertical offset is just an offset, as you can see, okay, so you have here three options, the sharpness, 0 0.9 is a good value, same for the velocity current, you can change the value, but uh, you will have a more strange look, in my opinion. So if you want more randomness in your wave simulation, you can use it. But in my opinion, 0 0.2 is already a good value. You can control here your wave crest. 
it's up to you to play with this setting to create the look you want for your scene. Okay, so I think it's good for the first look. So now what we want to do is to add foam on the ocean. So I will already create a V-Ray blend material. Link my ocean here to the base and I will apply this blend to my plane. If you want to change a bit the color of your sea, you can go back in your water material and play with the fog color. You can maybe set a blue tint like this. Play with the depth. Maybe more like this. Yeah, I think it's really cool like this. Okay, now we will create the form. So I will add another material. Set the diffuse to zero, link this material to the cut one. Now go to maps, Phoenix FD, and add a Phoenix foam texture. I can now link this Phoenix foam texture to the diffuse and link the displacement scaling to the ocean. Okay. You can see here in the Phoenix form a lot of parameter too. We have here an underwater foam tint. Really don't like it, so I will decrease it to zero. You can use it a bit if you want. It's up to you to see if you want to add it. It's nice like this, but for me, I will go to black. We don't see foam for the moment. It's normal. It's because we have here this value activated, so I will deactivate the value, I will now select my ear, my form, and link the form to the blend one. And now you can see that form start to appear here. Okay, I will go back to the Phoenix form material. Here you have the lifespan if you want to increase the life, and if I want to add more form on my C, I will decrease here the burst threshold. So 0 0.1, and now we can see lot of form. Set the value to totally white. You have here a lot of other parameter. Usually I don't change anything. I just play with the burst threshold to add more form or less. And I play a bit with the pattern strength. So if I zoom in, if I decrease the value, you can see here a lot of form. But in my opinion, it's more realistic with a big value like 0 0.8 or 0 0.9. So I will go to 0 0.9. You can see that we have a lot of variation in the form. Maybe 0 0.85 would be perfect. Okay, it's great. It's already a good vendor. Basically, you have the base to create a beautiful and realistic ocean with foam. What I love to do for my environment is to play with an HDRI. So I will go to Sun and delete my Sun. You can see here again the foam better. Add a view with them. Go to the Material Editor, Maps, V-Ray, Revit Map. For the bitmap, I will select an HDRI. If you don't have HDRI, you can find HDRI on HDRI even. Here, you have a lot of very cool free HDRI. So I will maybe select here this one. Go to spherical, up the upper wall, and link this map to my light. Oh, it's already great. Maybe up again the multiplayer. Play with the exposure. Maybe move a bit. Yeah, it's cool like this. Move the camera. It's really great like this. You can change the rotation to a different look for your C. I will go back to the phoenix form i can add maybe 
a bit tint like this it's great maybe up a bit the threshold it's maybe too much for the form 0 0.3 yeah it's really good like this maybe rotate a bit again match the right yeah it's really cool oh yeah it's so great like this beautiful light and beautiful blue color here it's really cool okay it's already great for a first look what i love to do to add again more realism in my final image is to add some fog so here we go here in rendering environment click on add and select very environment fog here we know we launch and we can see here the fog I will up the value for the distance here fog distance 5000 maybe too much 3000 and you can see here some fog it's really cool like this 2000 maybe yeah it's great you can control the fog transparency here black lot of fog white no fog maybe like this it will be cool okay guys so it's over for this tutorial i hope you've learned a lot of things don't forget to thumb up and to subscribe if you like my work you can find the complete project on my patreon and you can of course follow me on instagram or beyond if you want see you soon for the next tutorial guys bye